We're back again. Mm. I swear, in the history of YouTube, I must be the first person to react to this video, definitely, and possibly be the first person to react to a YouTube advert. Now, as soon as I play this, more than likely, you lot would have seen this and recognised the theme tune and that. You see, although I'm a YouTuber and I've been on YouTube for four years, you know I still haven't subscribed to You know the YouTube premium, so you cut out all the adverts and that. I'm too much of a, a stingy, cheap ass and that. My girl subscribed to the YouTube premium, then she deactivated it, and then we was watching a few videos upstairs and that, and she was getting annoyed with the advert, so she decided to resubscribe to the YouTube premium. Uh-uh, I ain't doing that. But I was watching this, well, I, was, I was watching what I was, whatever I was watching the other day, and this video advert comes on so often, and I can't even remember what I was watching. And I see this advert like, at least once a day, uh, on top of all of them other stupid, don't click this, don't click off this ad. I will teach you how to become a trader within two minutes, and you become a billionaire tomorrow, and all this nonsense and that. Um, but yeah, I can't remember what video I was watching, but anyway, this advert come on, and. I'm listening to it and I think to myself, yeah, this is the reason why so many people are in debt. This is the reason why so much people are defaulting. This is the reason why people are living at the bread line. But I'm going to run the video. I think it's only like 30 seconds long or whatever. And then um, I'll give you my thoughts. I like it. Yep, it's mine. The prices blow my mind. I feel so rich. Oh, yeah. I feel like a billionaire. I'm shopping like a billionaire. I'm shopping like a billionaire. Let's go. I'm shopping like a billionaire. I get it straight. I'm trying to make it. I'm shopping like a billionaire. Download the Timu app and shop like a billionaire. Let me just peel that back again. One sec. I'm shopping like a billionaire. Pre the, the theme song, I'm shopping like a billionaire, yeah? Pre the theme song, pre the theme song. Download the Timu app and shop like a billionaire. This is the reason why so much people are in debt. Things like this. Now, I don't know what Timu is or whatever in it, but do you know what? I think I should have been on the website because I was trying to order something, but anyway. The reason why people are so broke, so in debt, living on the breadline and that, is because they're living above their means. They're trying to spend money that they don't have, blood. This is the root of credit card debt, blood. Spending what you don't have. If someone was truly a person who believed in, I only spend money that I've got. If I ain't got, I'm not spending it. 99.9% .9 of people would not have a credit card. See, a lot of people like to mask having a credit card with this excuse of, oh, I'm building up my credit. Bullshit, blood. If you feel like you really need a credit card to build up credit and that, and you can't just do it with that, but you know nothing about building up credit, yeah? They, you got dumb rappers out here talking about, oh yeah, the reason why I wasn't able to get a mortgage in the past is because I had no credit and that, because I never had a credit card. So in order to get a mortgage, you need to get a credit card and that. Bullshit, I've got three mortgages right now, blood. Never had a credit card. Oh yeah, Vanquist card, Barclay card, Capital One, MasterCard come through my door, go straight in a Ross Clark bin. I'm not, I'm not interested in subscribing to any credit cards and that. I don't plan to spend money that I don't have. Well, I do have the money. But I, if I didn't have the money, I wouldn't be spending. You got idiots, man, that I've met at my workplace. I remember when I was an apprentice. I remember I was working in Wood Green. And um, a man said to me, yeah, he, he's planning on going on a holiday soon. He said, yeah, he put down a deposit for the holiday using his credit card. I said, why did you use your credit card to put down a deposit? I didn't even know you could put down a deposit on a holiday. I thought you just had to make the payment in one go. He said, yeah, I'm putting down a deposit on the holiday using my credit card. I said, why did you put down a deposit and use your credit card? He said, because I didn't have the money. Well, then, there you go then, fam. You're not supposed to be going on holiday if you don't have the money. The fact that you don't have the money for the holiday is a sign that you probably haven't worked hard enough. Now, you might be working hard. You might be working overtime, doing extra hours and that. But maybe... You've spent so much money in the past, it's left you in such a deficit and that, now you're making up for it. So now, your hard work is just giving, bringing you back to ground zero, blood. 
this is the reason why so many people are broke, because they want to shop like a billionaire. They want to shop like a millionaire. They want to have a millionaire's experience. There was a video I was going to react to before, but it was, the quality was so shit and grainy. It's just amazing how, how good uh, the camera resolution has got over the years, because it was one of them, like you know, like spendaholics and that, but the, the quality, and maybe it was just the quality of the video as well as the camera quality, a bit of both. It was too shit for me to react to, and it was grainy and that. But yeah, there was a a woman. She, she was only on eighteen grand a year, but spending money like she was on seventy. She 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 was going out popping champagne and that every Friday after work with her colleagues and that. What are you doing, blood? Like, you're on eighteen grand a year. You're on peanuts. All right, this might have been back in all three, all four, but still, inflation ain't gone up that much. The pound hasn't increased in value that much or decreased in value, whichever way you want to look at. 18 grand probably is the equivalent of about 25, 30 grand right now. I'm probably pushing it by saying 30 grand. People who are on 30 grand right now should not be going to the pub or bars after work, popping champagne and that, and buying everyone else drinks and shit like that. No, 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 no. You're on 18 grand. You stay out of them little drink going events and that way you can't afford to be buying no one else no drink letting on your ass clout self but as soon as after a while i seen this video i just held, held my head down i was like this is the reason why people are so broke because they want to spend money that they ain't got fam this is the reason why i'm in the position that i'm in right now because i don't spend money that i ain't got i make sure i always got the money before i spend it you know big shout out to my mum now, your mum ain't no rich person or nothing like that, but you know what? My mum, she didn't even teach you, but you know, you just leave, but you just learn by example and that. My mum's never been in no debt. I've never had bailiffs knocking at my door. I, I show you that video where I had, I phoned up my little sister to ask her if she knows what a bailiff is, blood. Can you hear me? Uh, Did you just wake up? Uh, All right, just a quick question, yeah? You listening? You awake, yeah? Uh-uh. You woke me up. I woke you up. Uh-huh. Alright. Just a quick question, yeah? You're paying attention, yeah? <laughs> Do you know what a bailiff is? Uh-huh. Do you know what a bailiff is? No. No? Alright. I'll explain later, yeah? Go back to bed. Bye. My sister's 11 years old. All right, she was drowsy. She just woke up. She does not know what the fuck a bailiff is. Blood, you think we have bailiffs coming to my mum's yard, blood? There's certain kids right now, they're 11 years old. They know what a fucking bailiff is, blood. My little sister don't know what no fucking bailiff is. But I've never had no bailiffs come to my mum's door. No, my mum's never told me about no credit card debt that she's in. I know she's not in no credit card debt. Because my mum has always been one of them women who she only spends the money that she's got, blood. So... My mum never even really needed to tell me. I think my mum said a couple of times, like, oh, I don't get a credit card or whatever, innit? But uh, my mum's never really told me, oh, don't spend money that you ain't got. Because I've always been savvy with money. Like, buying and selling crisp and drinks in school from a youth man, young age and that, you're naturally going to be sensible and savvy with money. Because I've always learned how to make my own money. So, put it this way. If you have one person who has built up a business and made a million pounds and they got a million pounds in the bank, they are going to be way more sensible with that money than if you give some average Joe off the street a million pounds that he just won from the lottery. Because he had to go through the trial and tribulations to struggle to earn and save and retain that money. Whereas some idiot, you just dropped it on his lap. He's just going to be a fool with it. He's going to be on that TMU website, shopping like a billionaire, shopping like a millionaire and that. So, yeah, as soon as I saw that video, I was just like, yeah, this is the reason why people are so broke. Because they're spending, they're living outside their means. You know, there's people right now, they're still paying off for a car and or got a bad credit score in financial debt for a car that they don't even drive no more. So they might have took out a Mercedes on finance and defaulted. And they're still paying off for that Mercedes. That Mercedes has been in a car crash. It no longer exists. But for some reason, the, the insurance company didn't want to pay out. That car is wrecked. 
and also their credit score and their bank balance is also wrecked. Yeah, they're still paying off for a car five, six years later that doesn't even physically exist on the road. It's a piece of scrap metal the size of this mug blood. Yeah? It's crazy, man. My girl's a mortgage advisor and that. And she had a client. The clients was, was scraping by just to even get the mortgage. And before they even got the property, let's say like the mortgage application had been accepted in that. They, they, they got into financial debt. Like they, they had some financial issues in that with their credit and that. Like they had like some financial, I don't know, something to do with a car that was coming up and that. They ended up losing the fucking mortgage offer. But you know what? They didn't even deserve to be able to buy a property anyway because the money that they got for, uh, the money that they was using for the deposit was, was given to them by, I don't know, a parent or parents or whatever. If two people couldn't save up enough for a deposit. Come on, man. It's pathetic, man. I've got fucking three properties, blood. What are you spending your money on, fam? Seriously, though. I said to my girl, on a long enough time scale, give it five years. They would have defaulted on that mortgage. Easily. They would have defaulted on that mortgage. They're on a joke thing. So, and like I've said it before in the past, if you want to see how responsible someone is with money, you don't need to look at their bank balance. You don't need to ask them. Just look at their credit score. If you want to see how sensible someone is with money, look at their credit score. If their credit score is shit, I don't care what excuse someone can come up with. If your credit score is shit, I know, obviously, if you default even £50, it will impact your credit score. How much? I don't know. But what I'm saying is, let's even allow them to default on one look of £50 or whatever, innit? If they've got default after default on that, you know they're irresponsible with money. If their credit score score is down in hell, yeah? Like right now, my credit score is like 837 or whatever. And like I said in previous videos, I think the reason why it's not at 999 is due to the fact that I haven't got a credit card. Because I believe, I'm just speculating, that if you don't have a credit card, your credit score can only be so high. It's slightly capped. And then if you was to have a credit card on top of having an excellent, perfect, impeccable score, credit score, you can get that extra bit that could take you to 999. How true that is, I don't know. But if I see someone with a bad credit score, I just know for a fact that they're, they're, they're irresponsible with money. Because it's not, it's not a one-hit wonder or whatever. And it's not like a silver or golden bullet. If you get hit with it, that's it. Your credit score's fucked for life and that. They've made, they've made bad decision after bad decision after bad decision and that. So I, I don't feel sorry for these people, man. But anyway, man, that's it for today. Stay wise. Don't know.